so now we are going to discuss next chapter that is gravitation see here uh, this chapter is very important where we will be studying about the forces acting between any two object having masses whatever are the two object whether you can take the two ta two chairs two tables two students anything which has got masses now see a gravitation because of this gravit whenever there are two objects a force acts between them that is known as gravitational force actually it is not a strong force it is considered a weak force but see moon is revolving around the earth because of gravity earth is revolving around the sun because of gravity or gravitational force so and also you try whenever you throw any object vertically upward it goes to the certain height comes down because of the gravitational force of the earth so everywhere gravitational force is there so which law law governs the gravitational force we have to study so first we will take newton's law of gravitation see here in newton's law of gravitation if you have got two objects having mass masses m1 and masses m2 these two masses centers of these two bodies for take care we take the centers of the two bodies centers of these two bodies are separated by a distance r so here we have taken distance of separation between the two bodies so now see body 1 applies force on b and that means body 2 and body 2 applies force on body 1 this force is known as force of gravitation and this force of gravitation is f so according to newton's law of gravitation we can write f is directly proportional to product of these two masses m1 and m2 and f is inversely proportional to square of distance between them so we can write f is equal to that means f is proportional to m1 m2 upon r square we can remove this proportionality symbol and we can write f is equal to g m1 m2 upon r square so see here g is here constant of proportionality so this capital g is known as universal gravitation constant so we can write here universal gravitation constant see what this is universal word this capital g you can apply the same constant whatever is the object you take in the universe whether you have taken two tables in your class whether you have to taken any two heavenly bodies or even the sun and earth sun and moon moon and earth right any other two objects in the universe you take the value of capital g remains same and the value of capital g was calculated by cavendish and that value of capital g is here 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square this is the unit of capital g so this value remains constant whatever the two objects you take to calculate gravitational force so you know we can make a statement here now i am going to state this newton's law of gravitation so according to newton's law of gravitation the force of gravitation acting between two object is directly proportional to product of their masses inversely proportional to square of the distance between them and the force acts along the line joining the centers of the two objects or two bodies this is very important line and here capital g is a constant so that we have discussed now statement now see here this gravitational force does not depend on the medium existing between any two objects what is the whatever the medium you place
suppose you have taken here air gravitational force is same. If you have taken here anything is that these two bodies are placed in water oil anything you place between these two bodies gravitational force will not be affected. It means gravitational force does not depend on the medium existing between two bodies. So, by this way we can calculate gravitational force. Now, we can discuss some questions related to this. Just I have discussed F is equal to capital G m 1 m 2 upon r square. What happen? If I reduce distance by half, what will be the effect in the gravitational force? You know gravitational force is inversely proportional to square of the distance. If you make new distance r dash is equal to r by 2, what will happen? What will you be getting? f dash is equal to g m 1 m 2 upon r by 2 whole square that 2 will be coming here 4 g m 1 m 2 upon r square this will be the original force we can write f dash is equal to 4 f. So, when you reduce the distance or you make the distance half between two objects having the same masses having the masses whatever you took earlier then gravitational force becomes 4 times. So, gravitational force is inversely proportional to here r square highly affected by changing the distance. Similarly, if you increase masses suppose if you double the masses of each objects how many times gravitational force will increase 2 times this 2 times this multiplied by this 2 and 2 that will become 4 times again it is a 4 times. So, you can do these type of the questions which are very simple related to only formula.